with recurring raiding in DayZ being rife with riffraff, ruh -ruh, it goes without saying that you need a good base defense. And despite what my school counselors said, my antisocial behavior and willingness to lock myself away and put thousands of hours into a game actually did result in something. This video and the occasional hemorrhoid. But here I'll give you some practical tactics and defenses you can start using right away, from preventative to corrective. If you liked the video, please leave a like or a subscribe, it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. I just cleaned this space. As always, starting off easy and working our way up, the first thing you need to use is traps. This can be bear traps, trip wires, or whatever. But whether you're in the base or somebody is trying to get into the base while you're away, this can be a huge deterrent or at least slow them down significantly. Next is something you should always do. You need to plan your gate placement carefully because the second you go to get your lock off, if somebody takes you out when you do, you're done. Your base is completely emptied and you've let them in. So always try to block it or hide it away so nobody can just snipe you from a distance while you're entering your base. Moving on, you need to log out inside your base. I can't tell you the amount of times in the past I've logged in to somebody currently raiding my house. You just sort of load in like, hey, hey, so how about them Red Sox? Log out in your base and log back in in your base and always be prepared for a fight. But if you do log in and get killed, this is where your stash comes into play. Make sure you have a stash within a reasonable area around your base but also make sure that that stash is behind cover so they can't see you approaching. This will allow you to get geared up and defend your base a lot more quickly. Next is just don't build a large base. Large bases are actually quite easy and more attractive to larger squads so you really need to just build something that's a bit more dense. More walls, smaller base, just make it difficult for them to get in. There's no base that's going to be impenetrable. If somebody wants to get in they will but making it more difficult gives you more time to get back there to protect what you have and larger bases usually have more vulnerabilities. Next you shouldn't ever use lights. Lights are basically a beacon and especially of a night. Lights and fires in the base although they sound like they're protected usually it's not the case so avoid them where necessary. Learn the layout of your base so when it is dark you know exactly where to go with minimal effort. And this is a basic one and I'm just going to throw it in because I can't tell you the amount of times I've exploited this but make sure all walls connect and there are no gaps in between them where people can sort of look in and just fire at you. You also need to practice raiding your own base. Is there a fence you can jump on? Maybe a rock? This base here is a trap base. It's not a secure one. Concealment is key. Always try to use barbed wire as well. It just makes it more difficult for people to approach or sneak around the base. And if you can build a base near a friend or a squad, it does help because you've always got reinforcements on command. Smaller bases with one or two walls do have their uses but there are some places you absolutely need to avoid and for that video click here and as always until next time